Hi all, uh, welcome to Kamala and Kannamani Mommy's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make a cabbage curry the South Indian traditional way. Um, it's actually very simple and quick to make. Um, this is how you need to cut the cabbage very thinly. Like this, you can go slow based on your speed of cutting the vegetable. It should be like this, thin. And then I have cut and kept it here. So, and um, after doing this, you need to wash it in water. Uh, okay. Now I have uh, chopped the cabbage thinly, uh, and I have washed it in water. I am going to use this. I have preheated this uh, castor in kadai. If you don't have a castor in kadai, uh, you can use a stainless heavy bottom, a stainless steel heavy bottom. Uh, kadai like this but you have to do it in a very very low flame okay now I am using uh, wood pressed unrefined groundnut oil just use very little for cast iron now once this Oil. In fact, it is heated now. I'm going to add this much of mustard seeds, and I have used uh, three red chilies like this, divided into two. And this is what gives the flavor. This is hing. I use a big piece of hing like this and I uh, kind of uh, pound it and make it as a fine powder. Now you should put that also inside. Now you should, once the mustard uh, spluttering has stopped, you should Put the flame into complete low. It's almost stopped now. Now I'm going to add the chopped cabbage. If there is little water after washing, it's fine. It does not matter. Now. Make the oil spread evenly by turning the cabbage inside the kadai. You will see that the cabbage softens immediately. So now I have used Himalayan pink salt. You can use uh, one spoon of salt. You can also use table salt. And do uh, remember not to use lot of salt uh, with cabbage because uh, it has a tendency to absorb the salt and uh, it becomes very salty. Any excess salt will not be nice. So now you can hear, uh, you cannot hear any sound of the heat. You have it has to be an absolute low flame, and cover it and cook it till it becomes soft. I will again show you once it is cooked. It's after about two three minutes that I have come to check this. Uh, please remember not to pour any water because with salt, it would uh, water itself. The juices in the cabbage will. Uh, come out and it will cook in its own juices um, you have to just saute like once in a while like once about two three minutes and uh, remember also not to overcook cabbage because overcooked cabbage has a very bitter taste so the secret is in not overcooking cabbage 
So it's very simple with just two, three ingredients. And um, you can eat it just like this. It has a bite to it. Or you can just wait only until the, uh, the juice evaporates and is absor absorbed by uh, the cabbage. That is it. So it's now come out wonderfully. It should not turn into that beige color. It should just retain this greenish color. <laughs> With this it's done. So if you feel that uh, by drying it's going to get overcooked, you can switch off and eat it with the juice. It, it's very tasty. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Happy cooking.